Welcome to this edition of Practice Update. I'm your host, Dr. Farzana Hafizullah. Joining me today is Dr. Sarah Goldberg. Great to have you here in Practice Update. Thank you very much. It's great to be here. So we're here in Chicago at the ASCO 2019 meeting, and we know that one of the trials discussed this year looked at a strategy of dual blockade of EGFR and VEGFR pathways. What is the treatment approach that was evaluated in this trial? I think this is a really exciting approach that's been studied for actually several years now, the general approach, which is, as you mentioned, trying to target two pathways, EGFR and VEGF. Um, in this study, it was using uh, two drugs, erlotinib and ramucirumab. Um, patients were newly diagnosed EGFR mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer, um, and they were randomized to erlotinib um, with ramucirumab or erlotinib and placebo. Um, and so this is a strategy that's been studied for several years, but not with ramucirumab, with bevacizumab. Um, and so there's been some suggestion from these prior trials that there might be a benefit to combining these two um, pathway inhibitions. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I think that this study is lending some additional data to this, uh, this strategy. Um, and it's, it's, it's exciting. So some of the key findings, can you share that with our viewership? Of course. So um, in, with the addition of ramucirumab to erlotinib, there is an improvement in progression-free survival. Um, and so patients' uh, median, median progression-free survival improves with the addition of ramucirumab um, compared to just um, uh, erlotinib alone. Um, uh, from my understanding, the overall survival doesn't seem to be um, uh, improved with the addition, although I, I believe it's still interim analysis um, currently. Um, so we'll see if that uh, becomes significant um, with the final analysis in terms of overall survival. So, but I think in terms of progression-free survival benefit, the, the difference is, is good. I think it's, it's several months improvement in progression-free survival. We'll see again about the overall survival. But it's interesting because that's exactly what happened with the erlotinib plus bevacizumab trial. So it's very similar results. That trial was a phase two trial, the erlotinib bevacizumab um, trial, but again, showed an improvement in progression-free survival without a improvement in overall survival. Um, so, so similar uh, results there. Do you think we have enough data at this time point to support widespread use of this approach? I don't think so. Um, in terms of the combination of erlotinib and bevacizumab, there is a phase three trial that is data is still maturing and we hopefully will have results for overall survival on that trial and that may help there. Um, in terms of this combination, erlotinib and ramucirumab, again, I think it's, it's an exciting combination. The improvement in progression-free survival is really encouraging, but I think a couple of issues in my mind in terms of using it in practice. One is we don't have overall survival benefit data yet to confirm that there's an improvement there. And I think the other issue is the backbone of using erlotinib, which I think for most providers is not typically what we use um, for the EGFR drug of choice. Um, uh, my practice has been, and I think many others, has been to use osimertinib as the EGFR therapy for first-line treatment. So um, I think that that also results in some questions um, if it is osimertinib superior or not to erlotinib plus a VEGF inhibitor or VEGFR inhibitor. I, and I'm not sure. We don't know that data, so right. we sure. don't have that type of trial. So I think it, it, it's showing that there is activity in combining these two pathways mm -hmm. or drugs from these two pathways, but um, I'm not sure that it's going to result in overall survival benefit, and I don't think that it's something that I would be using as standard of care yet. But I think it's something that we should follow the data and continue to watch as this, this, um, this field uh, uh, evolves.